Hey, how's it going out there today, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. Thanks for tuning in to Chulucker News. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like news related to trucking and somewhat opinionated. And, uh, you know, make sure you smash that like button. Check out everything in the description. Boom, let's get to the news. Um, Loves opens new truck stop in Iowa, oh, excuse me, in Ohio with 90 truck parking spaces. He came on. Seems like Loves is the only one building truck stops these days. Uh, hearing for driver in massive high school bus crash postponed due to language barrier. Hi, uh, hey, this world. North Dakota police share an impressive video of a one million pound load on the move. One million pounds. So think of that next time you think you got a heavy load. Uh, FMCSA shuts down two related Houston trucking companies for egregious violations. Oh, this is that's a good story. I'm glad to hear something's going on with them boys. And how about this one? How about this one? Truck driver scores one million dollars in Oregon lottery. Hmm. Happy for you, bruh. Happy for you. And percentage of brake safety week out of service orders hold steady in the U.S. That will be the opinion piece for the day because they're trying to make it like sound like a good story. I'm going to tell you, I don't think it is. Let's get to the news. Hey, get moved. Uh, hashtag damn it boy and why not you know all my good sayings uh, loves opens new truck stop in Ohio with 90 truck parking spaces on Thursday loves travel opened a new store near the Cleveland metropolitan area in Lake County Ohio Whoo, boy that's gonna be a busy place right there the new 13,000 square foot store is located off of I-90 at 1600 Great Lakes Way in Madison Ohio so check it out. It's going to offer an Arby's opening November 17th, 90 truck parking spaces, nine diesel bays, seven showers, laundry facilities, and a cat scale. Come on. Um, spokesman for Love says, we are thrilled to show customers Love's Highway Hospitality in Madison, said Shane Wharton, president of Love's. Coming off the most recent milestone of our 600th location, Loves is as dedicated and excited as ever to continue providing our customers with the best service and amenities on the highway as we embark on the road to 700 truck stops. Come on with that. Um, Oklahoma City Headquartered Loves was founded in 1964 and operates 600 stores in 42 states. Yeah, come on. Uh, hearing for driver in massive high school bus crash postponed due to language barrier. How much longer are we going to put up with this? I mean, it says right in the DOT book, you have to know how to converse English. Okay? How many trials do they go to nowadays where the guy has to, um, you know, bring in an interpreter? And I get it. It's for legal reasons. That way he can't go back and say, well, I didn't know what you were talking about. Well, technically, he couldn't say that most of the time because he don't speak English. I hear of a truck driver involved in a serious crash with a high school bus full of high schoolers has been postponed as court searches for an interpreter. Uh, truck driver Victor Santos was scheduled for his initial hearing in Cacoaco County. I don't know how to even say that. Maybe I need an English lesson. Uh, at 1 p.m. on Thursday, November 17th, after a crash that took place in Indiana over the weekend, now the hearing has been postponed until Monday, November 21st, due to the need for an interpreter so that Santos can understand the charges being brought against him. Uh, Santos is currently facing 26 felony counts, 22 of which for criminal reckless while armed with a deadly weapon. Damn it, boy. They're calling that rig a deadly weapon. Along with four counts of causing serious bodily injury while operating a vehicle, officers were on their way to intercept the semi truck after receiving multiple reports. The rig was driving, the rig was driving recklessly when he when a wreck occurred. A total of 16 people were hurt in the incident. Police say they could smell alcohol on Santos at the time of the wreck, and that his eyes looked red and glossy. His speech was slurred and slow. His blood alcohol content was 3.13. 0.13. He's about almost double the legal limit there. Uh, after uh, that evening, after blood draw at the hospital, Santos already registered sex offender who was convicted of rape in 1999. Whoo, boy, this guy's a real piece of work here. Real piece of work. Uh, all I can say is I hope they put this bastard under the jail. Uh, come on. 
You drinking and driving and hit a school bus full of kids? Psh, psh, psh. I mean, 20 years uh, at least. You know what I mean? Like, you are a menace to society. If you get behind the wheel of a semi-truck, I don't care if you hit nobody or not. It ought to be, like, you know, minimum minimum sentence of, you know, 10 years. Like, it's like a DUI in a car. I think a DUI in a car should be a crazy sentence. There is no reason this day and age, like, you should be drinking and driving. I mean, it's the dumbest shit ever. Like, uh, honestly, honestly, if I were if I were president, you get caught DUI and suspended license for the rest of your life. No, you lose your privilege. Because driving is a privilege. And if you're going to drink and drive, and I don't care where you do it at or how much you do, it comes down to numbers. You know, if you do it enough and you get comfortable with it enough, eventually you're probably going to kill somebody. So, you know, if you don't like that, I don't care. <laughs> North Dakota police say shit. North Dakota police share impressive video of a one million pound super load on the move. Woo, check this video out right here. I'll read the story to you while we watch him roll by. This week, Watford County, Watford City Police Department shared a stunning video of a super load going through the state. Come on. Uh, WCPD shared a video on November 16th that was captured around 3 p.m. as the super load was northbound on Highway 85 in Watford City, North Dakota. This thing is huge, the police department said. According to North Dakota Highway Patrol Trucking Company, Barnhart, Crane, and Regan is moving a 25-foot wide, 1 million pound, 36 axle turbine load. Come on with it. The final destination of the load is going to Saskatchewan. So, whew, man, imagine the diesel they're burning through. Imagine that fuel mileage. Uh, the FMCSA shuts down two related Houston trucking companies for egregious violations. I love this story. Uh, we got to get this. We got to get this scrap crap off the road. You know what I mean? Like, like you think rates are bad because of this, that, and the other. A lot of it has to do with companies like these right here. These companies right here, you know good and damn well they're not operating properly. You know they don't give a damn about equipment. You know they don't give a damn about nothing but collecting money. And you know they're probably not very good at it as far as getting paid what they're worth because they're not worth shit. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration has ordered two Texas motor carriers to immediately cease operation after one of the companies shifted operations to the other company following an out of service. There you go. When you run one company in the ground, go get you another DOT number. That way you can do that shady shit them Chicago boys do. The FMCSA declared Houston-based carrier Texas Interstate Express LLC and PAC Express LLC intimate hazard to the public safety and ordered the companies to immediately cease interstate and intrastate operations. The companies were served a federal out-of-service order on November 11th. The FMCSA began a compliance investigation of the Texas Express due to the fact that the company had more than double the national average vehicle out-of-service service rates and almost 10 times, yes, 10 times the national average of drivers out-of-service. Lord have mercy. During the ISC compliance investigation, the FMCSA said that Texas Interstate Express shifted operations to Pack Express and operated as Pack Express, despite the fact that Texas Interstate Express had been issued an out-of-service order for failing to comply with the with a demand to produce the records required to in, to conduct the investigation. So basically, the the Texas Express was under investigation, and the FMCSA said, "Hey, you got to give us information so we can conduct an investigation." They never produced that, so they put them out of service. So then they shifted operations over to their other DOT. You know, that's the shadiest shit going on out here these days. Oh, I'm glad they shut them both down. So they, they got them both shut down. Here's a good story. I like this one. Driver scores a million dollars. One million dollars in an Oregon lottery. Heck yeah, I like that. Truck driver won one million dollars in a lottery after purchasing tickets on a whim in Oregon. Heck yeah, I like that. Uh, on November 7th, 82-year-old Brooks Keeby brought $10 in Powerball tickets on a whim as the jackpot rose the following day. One of his tickets turned out to be a match for all five numbers, missing only the Powerball. Oh, my boy. My boy's one number off from winning it all. Keeby says he will use the money to pay property taxes. Uh, dang, you know you got some expensive property taxes when you got to win the lottery to pay them. Buy his wife a used Cadillac. Yeah, keep her in line, boy. Don't buy her a new one. <laughs> a fun... And find the rest to his retirement account. I like this guy. He says, I'm not greedy. Uh, Kibi said, when I asked if I was disappointed, he didn't win the full jackpot. Okay, yeah. 
hey man, a million dollars you didn't expect to have is a million dollars you didn't expect to have, am I right? Opinion story of the day, percentage of break safety week out of service orders hold steady in the U.S., but here we go. Here go. I'm going to tell you why I don't like this. I'm going to tell you why. Let me get to it. Total inspections rise, but there's little change in percentage of trucks taken off the road after inspection. Results from the brake safety week conducted this year by the Commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance and the numbers uh, close to the figures of 2021. The numbers of vehicles inspected rose um, from in the U.S. from August 21st to 27th. They inspected 34,402 vehicles, a significant increase from 28,694 last year, close to the figures of 2021. Or excuse me. So, uh, but here's the thing. Here's what I want. But the out-of-service violations rate barely budged. It was 13.5 in 2021, 13.6 in 2022. Now, you say, well, that's staying steady. But I'm saying 13% of brakes are out of service on the road? Whew. Damn, son. That's more than one in 10 trucks. So, that's like if you go to a truck stop and you go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Technically, one of those trucks is out of service. One of those nine is out of service. The fuck is going on out here? Take your shit and get it worked on. My God. My God, the safety mean nothing to you? <laughs> like, I mean, you know, I'm required to get a, a annual inspection by the state of Minnesota, you know, for my truck, you know, and uh, I got to be honest with you. I do it twice a year just because I want a second set of eyes on my truck. It's like it's like a two hundred dollar thing to go say, "Hey, I need a Minnesota inspection," you know, or go 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 to the freaking TA and say, "Can you inspect my brakes for me?" Because I hear thirteen percent of brakes on the road are out of service. My lord, that is that's alarming to me. That is alarming, you know. Like, and to be out of service doesn't mean like you're going to kill somebody. I mean, you know, that could mean like you got one brake chamber that's out of adjustment, you know, and you could probably technically you're still stopping okay, but. My Lord, go get it looked at, guys. I mean, it is not that big a deal to go get your brakes inspected. Or, or better yet, learn to do it yourself, you know. Uh, now, I know that's probably not realistic because, you, know, um, you know, when you walk around in a tank top and basketball shorts and flip-flops, you're probably not willing to get down on the ground and get under your truck. So, uh, you know, the money you're saving on shoes and socks, take that money and get your brakes inspected would be my opinion. <laughs> You came on. All right, that's it for that's it for the news day, everybody. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Be sure to smash that like button if you made it this far. Check out the description down below. Hang around for the commercial later. Remember, people are more important than drugs. Hey, everybody. Thanks for sticking around. Just want to talk to you a little bit about a company I'm partnering with, Mighty Products, spelled M Y T E E. You flatbed guys probably already know them. They are huge into flatbed uh, straps, tarps. Uh, everything toolboxes I mean they sell everything for trucking go check them out links are down there in the comments uh, and in the description of the video check it out I really appreciate them reaching out and wanting to work with my channel it helps me out tremendously if you shop through my link I would much appreciate it and uh, let me know what you think about them if you do buy something from them thanks appreciate your feedback